The Lord says, "Woe to the leaders who speak in my name! Stop your babblings." Trumpet call of God. Remember whom you follow, and to whom you must listen. Keep watch for those I send to you. These are they who bear the fruit without price, after the manner of the Spirit. January thirty first, two thousand and six, from the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, the Son of God, who is and was and is to come. Stop speaking amongst yourselves and denying the truth of who I am. My Father does continually send to you His prophets, to proclaim and glorify My name. From the beginning has He sent them to you, and unto the end shall you both hear and behold them. Yea, a great multitude has the Father prepared, as the great trumpet call of God, to announce the coming of the Son of Power and Glory. Let it be done as my servants, the prophets, have trumpeted, and come to pass as it was and is written, says the Lord of Sabaoth. Woe to you, teachers and hypocrites, who say I do not send them. Woe, I say to you, shall you speak for me? Shall you command me and proclaim my will, not ever hearing my voice? Nor heeding the leading of my spirit in you, that you say you know. Stop your vain babblings. Your disease is arrogance, consuming you in the name of pride, the workings of man's corrupted heart, following the temptations of the evil one. Free yourself in me, give everything of yourself, and I shall deliver you. Uncover your ears. Wash the mud from your eyes and listen to all those I send to you. They prepare the way for the great and powerful day of the coming of the Son of Man in His glory, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the same today, yesterday, and all days to come, says the Lord. Behold the prophets in these modern times, true and false. Know who it is I send to you, for they are sealed in their foreheads, having the spirit of God upon them. They are my multitude, coming in the manner of John, who cried and shouted the coming of the Lord, baptizing all who would unto repentance by water and the word given him. By John's proclamation did he make the path straight for the Lamb of God. How many more then shall my Father send before His face? He shall send a great multitude to proclaim and prepare the way for the great and terrible Lion of Judah, whose sword is in His mouth, His rod and fan in His hands. Carrying his sickle, ready for reaping, he will thoroughly purge his floor. Thus says the Lord: The day has come and is yet come, when the servants of the Most High God shall speak and baptize. In their mouths shall be fire, baptizing all in the word of God. Come, all you faithful, be gathered, live and breathe in me. I am your oxygen, the breath of life, the waters of knowledge and joy, cleansing all those soiled and bruised, healing them in my blood, transforming them in the wake of my coming, comforting them by the love of my heart that flows as a river, bursting forth in them 
as a wellspring of love, hope, faith, and obedience. Returning them to the garden and my joy, the kingdom of God, which I am, because of their salvation, which is in me, who is their maker and their breath, having become as they, dying, breathing my last breath as a man, raised to glory so I could come and live in them and with them forever and ever, life without end. Amen. Amen.